How to walk on water. Now many of you may be familiar with the account of how Jesus fed the multitude and Jesus is the one who supplied his disciples the food, the supplement that the multitude needed to eat. They only had five loaves of bread and two fish. And it was nothing that the disciples did. They were just right there and God was leading them step by step. And God himself provided. And after they passed the food around to the multitude, there were still 12 full baskets of leftovers, of fragments left. And only by the grace of God, you know, that that happens to where he provides, he gives, and there's still an abundance left over. So fast forward, he sends his disciples straightway, you know, right away. After that, he sends them off into the ship. And Jesus himself goes up to the mountain to pray. And right before he goes down to the sea, he sees his disciples struggling while they're trying to row the boat. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because of the wind, it's growing stronger. And it's giving them trouble, basically. It was a really um, heavy and severe storm. So Jesus... Then in the fourth watch, he walked on the water and the disciples seen him and they thought it was a ghost. They thought it was some spirit. So they cried, you know, they were, they were troubled. They were scared. And Jesus quickly comforted them, letting them know that, you know, be of good courage. It's him. Don't be afraid. And Peter wanted to test the waters, you know, wanted to test, test it and say, you know, if, you know, if it is you, you know, permit me to walk out on this water. And Jesus said, you know, come, basically. So Peter steps out and he's walking on the water. So simply put, how can we walk on water? Spiritually speaking, when we have our confidence in Jesus, and in who he says he is, that he is the son of God who died. He was buried and he rose the third day from the dead to cover the sin. The sin that mankind fell into. When we believe in this report, we are walking on water. That water is our source. That is what we stand on. The word of God is also related to many other things like tree of life and the rock of our salvation. All of these symbolic images are basically just saying our strength comes from our God. So that is how we walk on water. It's just recognizing who Jesus is and that he is the truth.